Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hey guys, about a month and a half ago or so, I got a chance to meet and ride with Afiz and his wife. They were out in the United States doing, uh, I guess, some, maybe a month-long vacation in different states, and they came to California, Southern California, and I set up some rides, and we had a beautiful uh, ride in the mountains. Uh, hopefully, I'll get that video out <laughs> eventually. And he gave me this great shirt. <laughs> I really like this actually. It's uh, one of these performance shirts that's breathable and uh, obviously high visibility. Actually goes with a couple of my outfits also. <laughs> so uh, thanks again, Afiz, if you happen to be watching this. Uh, but he also very generously gave me a preview of one of their new products. And this is about a month and a half ago, so it's no longer a, a preview. Uh, you can buy these on their website. These are CNC pedals for many of the different wheels available right now. And uh, this particular one is uh, referred to as Iron Man and, uh, in this new design. And he also has one called Wolverine, which is a... Uh, I think it's a bit more narrow, uh, it's asymmetrical. I, I don't have a set of those, so I can't show you up close. And uh, it's modular, just uh, su <laughs> superb quality. Uh, if you hold these in your hand, uh, you know what, where your, your money is going when you uh, get these. Now, these are um, for the Sherman. And I opted not to install these on my Sherman because at the time he told me that they're coming out with uh, a version of these that will fit a new wheel. <laughs> and uh, at the time, I didn't have the S22, but I knew it was coming uh, shortly. And it looked like I was going to be able to get the, uh, these plates that would fit the S22 just about the time that the minus 22 came. And sure enough, within about a week, I, uh, I have them. And uh, really stoked about that because the S22 has spiked pedals, but these are these cast pedals. And they're these kind of uh, stubby spikes. You wouldn't want to call them spikes. They're okay, but if your feet are wet, at all, they're gonna be sliding off this. these things. These are like the Commander uh, stock pedals, which are horrible. I think these may be a little better than the Commander pedals, but uh, if you're used to riding with uh, spiked pedals, uh, you are gonna to wanna to get rid of these and put something like these on. And I told Afiz at the time, when he gave me that heads up, that I think, he's going to make a killing on these pedals for the people who want spiked pedals for the S22. Because S22 came out with this new pedal design that is not compatible with anything previous. So you, uh, all the spiked pedals out there you can buy, uh, which are kind of generic in nature, they won't fit the S22. And as far as I know, uh, E-Rides is the only uh, company making commercial high quality spiked pedals that fit the S22. So I'm uh, really excited to install these. So uh, let me uh, pull the camera in close and give you a tour of these. Behold the beauty. There's something about CNC pedals which are, uh, <laughs> they're just great. Don't you kind of wish everything on our wheels were uh, CNC based? I don't know, uh, I don't know what Afiz is doing, but uh, he's got some great designers on his team to um, design and engineer these pedals and then have them manufactured. You can see uh, now again, these are fitted for the Sherman and uh, they're, they're modular. So you can see these uh, eight bolts which attach this hefty base plate 
and this is the part that attaches to your wheel. So the base, the same pedals design will fit different wheels depending on which base plate you, you buy. And I imagine if you got a new wheel, you could probably just keep your uh, keep your top plate and just buy new uh, bottom plates to transfer to your new wheel. For the Sherman, these are adjustable, the dihedral, so you can get a you know different angle on your pedal. They have um, these pins, the spikes are these pins which come from the mountain biking world, I believe. And uh, that's the same thing that Gatway is using on all their uh, new wheels, which I really like. I love the Gatway pedals. And uh, Fees tells me that these will ship with some extra pins and the tool that you use to, um, un to screw them in or remove them. I can't imagine these things wearing out, but I suppose it's possible. Uh, they're uh, anodized. So red and the eyes, black looks beautiful. These are uh, front and rear assists, I believe uh, they're they're called. So you can tell, see how it provides kind of a yeah, it's just raised and raised on the heel and the and the front of your foot. That's how this is the configuration I'm going to use initially, uh, but. If you would prefer flat pedals, these can be removed with these Phillips screws. And it looks like these risers or assists, whatever they're called, uh, they look like they're painted with an enamel of some sort, so they should hold up fine too I would think I believe I don't have that tool so I'm just using some vice grips So remove that and then you would uh, transfer your pins over to this part and then you've got a you've got your flat standard flat uh, pedal. Now let me show you the exciting package I just received in the mail from Afiz. The new base plate that fits the S22 Tell you, I've never been so excited about uh, new pedals. <laughs> so I've been doing some riding with S22 in the mountains on trails, and I kind of miss the really nice spiked pedals. So let's just, let's uh, disassemble this. Let's, these are the same uh, same size. Allen wrench that you use for your uh, your pedals. And now this should just. right back in there you go and talk about a hefty base plate Okay, let's install these. Now, first thing we have to do is undo this little set screw that locks in the pedal rod. 
and uh, the E-Rides pedals offer another improvement which I will show you over these uh, stock pedals. They don't require the set screw. It's kind of a weird design which uh, you'll, you'll see shortly. I need to pound out the pin. Okay, you need to reposition the wheel here. Wow. This pedal is super light. I wonder if it's made from uh, magnesium, which is a particularly light but strong metal. This is extraordinary light. I can't believe it. Wow. These E-Rides pedals use grub screws to retain the pin, unlike the King Song wheel that uh, uses this set screw that fits in this notch on the pin to keep it from sliding, sliding out. Uh, I think this is a better design with uh, some other big improvements, which I will show you in a little bit. For some of you, it will matter.
installed. What do you think? Looks beautiful. They're stiff. They they stay up. Let me show show you uh, the advantage to this uh, pin design of the E, e rides uh, pedals versus the King Song. With the King Song pedals, you have this rod that has a notch in it and there's a set screw on the bottom of this um, mounting bracket that uh, screws in to that notch and that keeps this from moving. Now if you want to take these pedals from the default position and move them forward so you have a, a more forward stance and I know at least one person who has done that uh, and Flyboy actually he's the one that uh, pointed this problem out. When you do that well okay obviously uh, this notch in this position there's nothing to secure it so then what you have to do is put the rod in this way but then the notch is down here and King Song uh, <laughs> uh, they decided well they're only, only going to put that set screw threaded hole in this block not this block so what do you want what, what do you have to do you have to remove these two blocks, swap them, and then you can uh, secure the pedal rod properly in the f with the pedal in the forward position. Kind of a pain. Well, with the E-Rides pedals, here's the default position. Well, if I want the pedals forward, all I do is this, this pedal is going to be on the other side. Instead of putting that, this pedal on that side, you swap them. So I, I would mount this pedal on the right side, and you can see the pedals are moved forward, so you'd have a forward stance. So super easy to uh, move these pedals back and forth. Um, not that you're probably going to do that much, but uh, minor uh, minor thing, but but it's, uh, it's a plus in my mind. Now, I want to highlight the angle, the dihedral angle of these new pedals. Not sure how you'll be able to see this in the video, but these are definitely have more of an angle than the um, pedals that ship with this wheel, which tend to be a little a little flatter than I prefer. These are actually pretty good for me. Might even go just a little higher. Now these are not adjustable. You cannot adjust the angle and I think that's just from the complications of uh, King Song's new um, design for the pedal hangers. But let me show you an easy way to increase the angle up to that much if you want. To add more of an angle to your pedal, you're going to go to your home center and buy a little piece of strip of uh, sheet metal. You can often find these in the um, duct work department where they sell vents and, and that kind of stuff for your house. For uh, a dollar maybe you can buy and I've already been cutting this you can buy a strip of this material which works great for pedal shims and I've used the same technique for other wheels super easy to do and uh, works really nice so let me uh, show you the simple process two shims are going to be cut to fit here and here and of course two on the other side and I'm just going to eyeball this widthwise, so let's see about like that. And I'm going to use tin snips to cut this. I've got my piece, fits in here, and I'm just going to 
put it in as far as it goes and then just close the pedal bend it over and now you have created a shim and it still has a little angle so I'm going to take it over to my um, vise and just close this gap a little bit. All right, I've bent this a little more on my vise. So now when I put this, it, uh, it rests fairly flat against this part. And of course, when I do this, it's going to fall out. So we're, we're going to use some tape. Just got a little piece of double-sided tape. Stick it on this gem. There. Now it's not going to fall off. Holds pretty good. And you know what? If it falls off eventually, you know how you can make a dozen more in about 10 minutes. So just install uh, one and two on each uh, pedal, and you are good to go. Pretty easy to. Uh, Add some additional angle, and you can uh, double double these up, or add three layers. It works amazingly well. Now, this piece of galvanized um, sheet metal adds about three degrees additional dihedral angle, just to give you a feel for what you can do. Add two of these, and you'll probably get about six degrees. Problem solved. Well, what do you think, guys? I think these look sexy. Iron Man pedals. <laughs> well, thanks again, Afiz, for um, providing these to me, and I'm really going to enjoy these. I'm really excited to have uh, quality spiked pedals for the S22. I thought I was going to be out of luck initially based on this uh, custom weird uh, pedal hang hanger design uh, so check out e rides if you uh, want to get a pair for yourself or any other i mean they they look like they uh i was browsing the website they have spiked pedals for just about anything you can imagine uh, pretty thorough compared to uh, what i've seen elsewhere all right guys I hope this was useful, and uh, until next time, safe riding.